Now the floor is given to Colonel Dmitry Gutsolak, Ministry of Defense of Ukraine spokesperson on ATO-related issues. Good afternoon, everyone. During the last 24 hours, at the line of confrontation, the relative calm was observed by the militants of Russian occupation forces several times violated ceasefire. In the Lugansk sector, one precision mortar shelling delivered by the enemy was recorded that about 340 Russian occupation forces launched 10 mines using mortars of 82 millimeter of caliber. And they use it against our defenders of Svetlodarsk. In the Donetsk sector, the enemy was not able to adhere to ceasefire in full. After 10 p.m. for about one hour, the enemy used against our defenders of Pisky the mortars of 82 millimeter of caliber launching about 10 mines and also delivered fire with the use of weaponry of IFVs and grenade launchers. I would like to stress that the Ukrainian servicemen fully adhered to the Minsk agreements and didn't return fire. On the whole, during the last 24 hours, two precision shellings of the defense positions uh, were recorded and uh, at that the enemy launched about 20 mines using mortars of 82 millimeter of caliber. It is pleasant to note that for the second day in a row in the result of enemy shellings, no Ukrainian defender was, uh, was wounded or traumatized. And uh, servicemen of the armed forces of Ukraine are ready and capable to complete the tasks of defense of our state against Russian aggression. Press Center of ATO headquarters informs that uh, according uh, to information provided by intelligence of ATO headquarters, Russian occupation administration of uh, uh, Russian Federation that uh, managed uh, temporarily occupied regions of Lugansk and Donetsk oblasts put a lot of effort in order to hide out breaks of infectious diseases in so-called units of Russian occupation forces. And as of today, medical assistance is needed for um, about three, uh, uh, 30 militants of uh, uh, so-called detached artillery brigade and third motor and rifle brigade of the first army corps. But the commanders of so-called uh, army corps of Russian occupation forces actively hide uh, the facts of um, measles cases among the, uh, the militants. According to information provided by the main intelligence department of Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, command of Russian occupation forces continue to carry out provocations and uh, uh, they try to blame Ukrainian side in violation of the Minsk agreements and shellings of civilians. In order to prevent uh, disengagement of uh, forces and uh, in order to provoke Ukrainian servicemen uh, to uh, use uh, weaponry, occupation command uh, of Russian occupation forces, uh, um, they are preparing to carry out uh, combat exercises in direct proximity to the line of confrontation. They plan uh, to carry out firing exercises with the use of weaponry of tanks and IFVs and also uh, driving exercises with the use of combat vehicles in condition close to the combat ones. According to press center of ADO headquarters, in uh, the course of recent uh, shellings delivered by Russian occupation forces against settlements in Lugansk Oblast, a line, uh, electricity supply line was damaged by fragments. And uh, uh, due to gust wind and snowfall, there was a burnout of the um, wires uh, because of high voltage. And, uh, and the result, several um, Settlement Troitsky, Novozvanyevka, and Vyskrivka were without electricity. Yesterday, repair brigade of Lugansk Energy Union, together with defenders of Ukraine, servicemen of the armed forces of Ukraine, for several hours worked on the line and restored electricity supply to these settlements. Also, I would like to inform that in the region of completion of the tasks, uh, the engineer units of the armed forces of Ukraine actively continue their important work concerning check and clearance of roads and uh, uh, routes of movement in order to reveal explosive objects. During the week, our engineer units checked uh, about 90 hectares of land for um, explosive devices and destroyed 1,079 units and cleared about 29.5 kilometers of roads and uh, uh, routes of movement. And on the whole, during the start, uh, from the start of the ATO operation, um, our um, uh, units checked uh, about uh, 3,667 hectares 
of territory into Donetsk and Lugansk Oblast and destroyed about 152 uh, and 185,600 explosive objects and cleared about 1,182 kilometers of road and routes of movement. In order to honor the best servicemen of the armed forces of Ukraine, the Ministry of Defense continued to award our servicemen with the state awards and accommodation awards. Uh, in, um, according to the information provided by the Department of Staff uh, uh, Policy of MOD of Ukraine, um, from the start of 2018, as of uh, 28th of February, commendation awards um, of, uh, were provided to 552 five servicemen um, and uh, workers of the armed forces of Ukraine. From the start of ATO, state awards of Ukraine were provided to 51,059 servicemen and um, accommodation awards were provided to 51,400 servicemen and workers of the armed forces of Ukraine who were ATO participants. And also, according to information provided by the Department of Staff Policy, um, of uh, the Ministry of Defense uh, as of 28th of February, status of combat action participant was provided to 223,744 servicemen and workers of the armed forces of Ukraine who are ATO participants. Do you have questions? No questions. Thank you.